Welcome, my beautiful people, to D Dime Kitchen. Guess what, guys? I'm going to cook turkey wings adobo. So let's dive into this. This is a turkey wings, it's like three and a half pounds of turkey wings. It already, I already wash it, rinse it in lemon water and uh, I buy them, I brought it like this, they're already cut in pieces. You see they're cut in pieces. So rinse in cold water with lemon. Here I have five tablespoons of soy sauce. One third cup of rice vinegar, and I'm using the sweet and tangy flavor. One teaspoon of all purpose black peppercorn, it's like one teaspoon of black peppercorn. One onion, seven to eight cloves of garlic, a little crush ginger, half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon saison, and about five bay leaf to six they break up. They all break up, so and they're fine, so I just use them. Yeah, the break broken up so guys okay I forgot the oil I'm using some olive oil probably about four to three tablespoon of olive oil first you just want to get the all-purpose pouring in the all-purpose The saison and the salt. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of black pepper, and you just want to rub this all together. And you're gonna cover. I let it marinate for two hours. In the meantime, I'm just gonna be working. Let me prepare the onion and the garlic. And you want to cut the garlic. Okay, my beautiful people, I'm putting the oil in now. It's two hours since the turkey wing have been marinating. And you know what? You can always marinate your turkey wings overnight. Just want this to have to take it take like two minutes to be eaten and I'm just gonna put in the turkey wings now you feel that season so basically I'm gonna give this like half an hour 15 minutes on one side and then 15 minutes on the next side. So let me cover and it's on medium low heat. So I'm going to give it half an hour. 
and I'm going to turn within 15 minutes and I'll let you see again. So, hey, my beautiful people, it's time to check in on the turkey wings. It's 15 minutes, so I, I'm just going to flip them over. Don't freak out, I'm using a fork in my nonstick pan because right now the turkey wings they are rubbery and it's difficult to, to turn over so now guys I'm gonna give it 15 more minutes on this side the turkey ring is rubbery so it's gonna take about one and a half hour to cook so 15 more minutes on this side and then you get on to the next step so now my beautiful people it is time to check in it's half an hour since we have this turkey ring on the fire so let me just get it on very low and i'm removing them look how beautiful it looking guys I'm just gonna remove it. Remember the turkey wing is rubbery, so so let me get a little of this oil. It's so much oil, I don't need all of this. So now guys, I'm gonna put in the onion along with the garlic for it to start it. beautiful people please remember to like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so when D Dawn is doing a video you will be the first one to be notified Just let this saute it. Saute. Yeah, it smells beautiful, man. The aroma is in the hair. We don't want it to burn. And then we know we're going to place back the turkey wings. Remember, the turkey wings is rubbery. It's don't begin to cook yet. It needs at least the next hour. So it can't, you can't stick the fork in it because it won't go in it because it's rubbery, as you can see. That's now I'm pouring one cup of water on it two cup of water along with a soy sauce you're not gonna put the vinegar because the vinegar it's hard in the meat so half an hour before it cook then I add the vinegar now I'm adding my crushed ginger And the black pepper corn black pepper corn you want to have your bay leaf you 
be going to cover and I'm giving it one more hour so total it's one and a half hour so hey my beautiful people it is time to check in on the adobo turkey wings so here now I'm gonna add the vinegar and remember I told you I use a rice cane vinegar if you want you can use whatever vinegar you want to use I use rice vinegar so you can use any vinegar any vinegar so what really make this turkey wings turkey wing adobo you have to make ensure you use your pepper corn along with the bay leaf the vinegar and your soy sauce cover back and when we come back it's I'll show you the next step hey my beautiful people it is one and a half hour now and it's time to check in to see if our turkey wing is cooked so it's testing time and how do you know that the turkey wing is cooked is when you insert the fork the fork in and it goes from one side to the next so let's uh, us test and see this is the bone I'm touching so see how the other the leaf the fork right through let me test the next piece and let you see a bigger piece this one is even coming off the bone you see and it coming right off the bone so you know your turkey wing is cooked it's not rubbery okay guys so it's time to turn the stove off but this is optional I have a I open a can of peas and carrot so I, I just want to add it to it but it's optional So guys, our adobo turkey wings is now ready. I'm getting hungry. It's time for heating. So my beautiful people, remember, let me turn the stove off. Yeah. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. I thank you all for watching D Dan Kitchen.